So hey guys, Ms. Ping from D2, and uh, while Fabian takes over the world in strategy games, I will show you guys how to utilize smoke effectively, both passively and aggressively, with a good example from the party game against Cyclops on Villa. So what happens in most scenarios is that you're gonna be picking smoke as a passive operator, trying to stay alive as long as possible. The less time on the clock there is in the round, the more value that you gain. Once there's like 30, 45 seconds left on the round, you can smoke grenade anywhere in the map and just stall out the opponents. They cannot push through it, or if they do, they have no vision, they're gonna be taking damage, and it's just more pressure onto the opponents that makes it more likely you'll win the gunfight. So, you don't wanna be spawn peeking, don't pull anything crazy, you know, make your rotation holes as you need, be a good boy, beep up the builder, reinforce your walls, set it up properly, and then usually your role will be to be on the bomb side, hold cameras or hold the first line of defense on the passive side while your Jaeger players or your Legion players can extend the defense and hold the first line of the aggressive line. So what we often do is that we're going to be sending Kenton and Uno far away on the map. They're going to do their thing and then I will come and assist them on the back line if necessary. And if not, then they're going to fall back or die or just kill them all. It depends. And then what happens is that usually we'll be in like a 3v4 or a 4v3 it's gonna be like a minute left in the round, and as a smoke player, you have a lot of decisions to make. So the first decision is that, are you going to wait for the time to get as low as possible, so let's say 30 seconds, smoke off the opponent so they cannot use this angle to push forward, meaning that you eliminate one position out of, let's say four possible. They can go from the left side, the right side, and then on the other bottom side, there's a left door and a right door as well, from office and to, we call this Hugo. So depending on where you play, you need to make a decision, do I stall? Do I make them unable to progress into us and make them be forced to play on the time? Or you can do the opposite, which Uno and I did in our game against Cyclops, where we smoke aggressively to deny their positioning, which allows us to push up together and single out a guy playing in 90. And if we get this frag, even if they kill one of our guys and we trade, making it a one-for-one -one trade, we still get this point of the map back, which means that we took back the map control that they took. So we eliminate this guy, we get this area of the map, and that means that this entire line of, of attack is now like nullified by us, meaning that our teammates only have to worry about two single doors on bomb side. So if it's a 4v4, and we have Uno and I, two people taking long control to get 90 back, that means that we have two more guys alive, probably gonna be Fabian and Goga, and all they have to worry about now is basically a single or two doors on the bomb side, which is extremely easy and more simplified. They have to worry about your flank as well. So depending on the situation, you gotta play either passively or aggressively, but no matter what you do, always play with a teammate, always have refrag ability, you always wanna play for those 1v1 trade situations. There's nothing worse than playing overly aggressive with a smoke, you die early, you lose your smoke grenade value, and you can't make a play off it. But do remember that you don't need to be the anti-planter because in most scenarios in the current meta, people don't plant the bomb a whole lot, especially not on Villa. So instead of just waiting for them to plant and you end up in a 1v4 situation that's like impossible to clutch pretty much, you use them early in the round so that you can get those refracts and either come back with the meta advantage, saying you're playing 4v3 um, on the back foot, so you're three against four, and you can even out to 3v3, or if you're in a 4v4 equal roster, you can kind of get the advantage by getting that frag. That's all for me, guys. Thank you for watching.